I would tell them if they were committing to a career in the science of food, that this is an absolute must for them. There, there's no question in my mind that it will be a terrific opportunity for the development of their career. And all, all I have to do is look at our scientific program and the breadth of it. Uh, it, it is quite outstanding. So um, I have no difficulty at all encouraging people to move forward. The continuing education opportunities are there and we are committed to lifelong learning. So uh, I became a certified food scientist. Now I became a certified food scientist 40 years after my PhD. So I didn't take advantage of the grandfathering clause, I actually wrote the CFS exam. And I did that not because I needed it for my career, but it was to prove to myself that I could still function as a food scientist because we have to encompass so many disciplines and we have to stay up to date with them. And that's really the key. So IFT gives me the opportunity to stay up to date with the science of food because we have to keep learning. You should definitely get involved, but what you should do first is to definitely network with students such as yourself because I find that students or your colleagues are the best resources and then once you connect with your colleagues you look to someone who has served in a position that you would hope to serve in and see what that person did in that position and what that position entails but the main thing I would say is do not hesitate just apply um, unfortunately in the past IFTSA board nominations have been low for some positions and I feel that some of the students don't apply because I didn't have confidence in myself at one point in time and so I felt as if okay I'm not this is a national board I, there's no way that I could serve but of course I applied and I got the position and I found out that hey, I was just as worthy of being there as anyone else. So what I would say to my little brothers in the world or anyone seeking to or even thinking of applying for an IFTSA board position is go for it, definitely. Don't hesitate. Hey, if there's a way to contact me, I'm here, I can help you. But definitely don't hesitate and apply, apply, apply for any and all opportunities that you feel would fit you. I think everyone has, because food science is, as I said, multidisciplinary field in, of its own, um, their own core expertise area, and they belong to probably a professional society that really focuses on that area. For example, for me, I'm a sensory scientist, so there would be a couple of core sensory science professional type of society that I would belong to. And that is great, and you really focus on your expertise, but IFT provides the breadth of food science and that it is the main um, venue where you come to network with other areas and you broaden your, your expertise and your knowledge. And there comes the innovation because if you're just stuck in your own area, you're, you tend to think only in that area, but if you can actually broaden it to other areas of food science then and collaborate, it would be um, a much more you know, diverse uh, idea and, and thinking, right? So I usually sell it that way, especially for those um, colleagues who want to focus on their own, own expertise, that IFT is a, is a must um, attending and being part of the member type of organization for food scientists so that you get the breadth of what our discipline is about. Um, and especially as we um, come to where we need all the different areas of thinking to tackle on the challenging um, aspect of the future of population growth.